This is a SpedEx ESC. Nothing interesting about that, except the fact that it's running an F4. But is that really interesting? What is up guys and welcome back so today we have a bunch of new products some are actually really interesting now as i go i'll have a link to everything in the order that we check out down in the description so first of all what i what really caught my eye is this aurora supra f4 now this is a little flight all-in-one flight controller with the escs for those new toothpick class fpv quadcopters however the, the there's a really big issue with these is that the fets don't usually handle and they end up just you know going to shit or just dying on us so this one i don't know if they're aiming to make it better or it's exactly identical but i do see more filtration than most of the boards out there which uh might indicate that they're trying to combat that issue and it might last slightly longer so saying that i'm i'm going to try to get my hands on uh some so here we yeah we see actually that i think it is using a large slightly larger fets than usual i'm gonna have to double check this and i'll come back in an update video with the ones that i have i gotta take those apart and check these so the, once this is in stock i'll try to get my hands on it even though it's kind of pricey but if it's not gonna blow out on you and then it might be a good one but yeah until then uh we'll check it out later so i'll have this one linked down below this one's pretty interesting it's called the flight one race flight schizo i don't know if they're actually selling it on being good it's 80 bucks it's a 32-bit esc which is bla 32 50 amp 6s esc or up to 6s esc it's basically a tico 32 slightly modified with current sensing for each uh esc here so you can do current control uh, so you can say okay no more than 20 amps on this esc because we're actually starting to lose that now in in the in the newer 4 and one ESCs that are 6S capable we're not really seeing current for each uh, motor in terms of telemetry we're just seeing one dedicated so this is a really nice uh, option here however it does have quite a lot of filtration so I, I expect filtration to be really good it does take you know airbots this signature design here and these caps usually tend to pop off on a lot of people's uh esc so just be careful if you ever do purchase this and let me know what you think down in the comment section what do we have next down the line uh here's the mamba i think this is the 20 by 20 is it or is this a new one hmm let's check this out i'm not sure because i don't know the mamba's esc's name uh no this is not the new one i think this is the one that comes with the stack here it's 6s capable here i wonder if they could take these fets and install them on the uh the toothpick class uh quadcopters that'd be pretty interesting all right so this is really interesting here and what is this this is a spedex esc nothing interesting about that except the fact that it's running an f4 but is that really interesting i don't know um it's 21 bucks so it's i mean it's in the average price of a premium esc i guess but it, there we can't really see anything about it all we know is it has an led it's an esc and it has an f4 microcontroller unit is that going to make a difference i don't think it will make much of a difference um there's only i think so much they can do unless it has some really crazy features inside i really want to see the filtration and the noise test of this one uh so yeah i'll have this one linked down below it's the first four f4 esc usually they're going to be bugging the first couple firmware so keep that in mind before you proceed now Oh, look at this. I didn't see this before. Wow, why is it so expensive, HGLRC? So this is an F7. I didn't, I didn't notice this one before, to be honest. So it's from HGLRC. It's an F7 dual gyro, 60 amp, 6S, with a 6S AC. So it's a complete stack here. I did test the Dino shot. I think it tested pretty good, if I remember correctly. I don't, I don't remember, but I'll have to check my videos because uh, I've tested so many, so I don't really remember. I think it was a good ESC so far, but not current, not one hundred percent sure. But it is using pretty tiny fets. I mean, the fets are smaller than the fet driver here. Ah, uh, I'll just be careful running success on it. Definitely would add a low ESR capacitor. Uh, so it's just an F7 with dual gyros and it's 120 bucks. Well, I'll have a link down below if you want to check that one out. So what do we have next down the line? This one. So T-Motor finally released is complete stack. It's going to be the latest F55 amp 4-in-1 ESC from T-Motor with the flight controller here. As you can tell, it is soft mounted both with from the ESC and as well as the flight controller. And it's being connected via connector here. The flight controller, nothing interesting about it. It's just a flight controller. <laughs> There's really nothing interesting anymore. I mean, does it have a 9-volt regulator or something? Let's go ahead and check this out. 5-volt regulator. Oh, it's using an ICM2062 uh, gyro. Okay, so sensitive gyro. We have 16 megabytes flash memory, 30 by 30, input voltage up to an 8S, 
and that's it it's just a normal flight controller but yeah i'll have a link down below if you wanted to go with the whole t-motor uh style on your quadcopter from top to bottom all right what else do we have whoa this is crazy look at this iFly Shing, these are the economy. $14? What? I think that's pretty good. That's a pretty good price if the, if they perform as good as their more expensive brothers. But how did they go so cheap? Oh, we even see look look at the bottom, no C clip. That's awesome. What do we have here? So we have 6S motors and we have 4S motors. I'll definitely get my hands on the 20 2750 KV here and probably 1700 KV here for the 6S. It's a lot of options right there. That's 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 really good. So the price of the motors are dropping quite significantly now. That's nice to see. Now it's turned. Now hopefully the uh, what is it called? ESCs do as well. Oh my god! Why is this one so much more expensive? Oh, because of VTX. All right, here we have another one. Oh wow, it's 2306. I also have it linked down below. Let's go ahead and check this out. 2207 is my favorite. But 2306, if you like the 2306, then they got you covered here. So it's just 2 to 6S LiPo, 17, 2450, 70, 2750. Uh, they have just three options of this one. So again, 4 to 6S, really nice. Uh, I don't think they have those anti-vibration stuff like their uh, more expensive ones. So Banggood, I hope you're watching. or, or I, I don't understand. Summer Prime Sale, and it's exactly the same price as usual. I don't understand why you do this because you we don't really know when you actually have a sale which is kind of a shame because when you do we just think it's not a sale and that's the original price even though i watch most of your products all the time i don't even know when is an actual sale and when you're not on sale so if you can figure something for that that'd be actually great for everybody wow this has gone that cheap holy crap this is a 4s esc it's a 25 amp and it's a 20 by 20 and it's only with the flight control and the ESC and you're running F405 and what else do we have? What's the gyro on this? Is it an MPU 6000? Nice MPU 6000. That's a, that's a really great deal. I mean, that is insane when you think about it. There was no, it was never anything that cheap to get ESCs in a flight controller. This is literally crazy. Wow. I'll have this link down below. $40. This is going to go off the shelves in no time. And I've tested those. Those are pretty good. So these are obviously old stock. You can immediately see that. No one really does this anymore. But what I was really looking for with these, especially 2204, 2204 around 2000 kV that's 4S capable are really, really efficient motors, like really efficient motors, but for light FPV wing setups, kind of like my Zod Orbit. But um, yeah, we don't really see that here, unfortunately, which was kind of a shame. All right, so here's a little stack that I didn't notice before, and it actually looks pretty insane from Airbot here. Look at this. That's a really thin profile, and it is 6S capable, 50 amp. It's using those metal FETs, and what else do we have? Six UARTs. Let's, let's, check the, let's check the specs. 105 bucks for this. It's pretty expensive still, but, I mean, that's the normal price now that we've all gotten used to. So we are using an ICM gyro, which is a sensitive gyro, 5-volt regulator, and we have, okay, obviously OSD, 6 UARTs, camera control, supports external gyro box. That's interesting. So if you don't like this gyro, you can connect. Oh, yeah, there it is. You can just go ahead and connect. Uh, but that'll increase its overall size here. You can go ahead and connect an MPU 6000. Probably even use sensor fusion if they did it right. The feds look interesting. They actually look pretty small here. Filtration is really good. Um... <clears throat> I wish it was current sensing for each ESC. Unfortunately, we don't see that here. But it feels like it's a Frankenstein of leftover components at Airbot <laughs> for 105 bucks. All right, guys, and that's going to conclude it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And, well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.